Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 4th, 2022. Well, my goodness, those bulls came out in strength yesterday, and I have to admit, I have underestimated the strength, <coughs> excuse me, of this earnings rally that has been going on and the amount of pent up speculation that has um, fueled it to the upside. However, I don't think I've underestimated the um, overall condition of our economy in the United States and the world. And I am a little bit worried that we um, are now reaching a point of complacency or over exuberance in the market. That being said, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, as I said at the intro there, that um, I think we might be reaching a bit of over exuberance or maybe even complacency here in the market, but I think there's a very good chance that can continue for a, a few more days the way the market has been acting so let's take a look as you can see what I've done is I've drawn in these resistance levels and downtrends in the chart and you'll notice that we are right up here testing that resistance level here in the Dow so we'll want to watch that closely as the diamonds press against that area in the in the chart and we do want to recognize the fact that the bulls are in control they are moving um, strongly to the upside but we are a bit stretched out and one of the reasons that I still have a little bit of a question here is noticing that we rallied so strongly on such light volume yesterday so keep a close eye on that I don't want to say that we're going to reverse immediately but I will say I think this bullish rally is a little bit long in the tooth we should be thinking about the possibility of a pullback not that it's going to happen but a possibility of a pullback be careful not to over trade or get um, greedy you might want to think about taking some profits just in case we run into a little bit of trouble um, let's take a look at our spy now SPY had a very strong day yesterday in price action moving up um, I need to adjust my line here um, we rallied right into um, this price resistance level in the chart again pressing hard into that price resistance level we're going to have to watch that closely to see whether or not they can push on through and there's every reason to believe that the earnings the earnings results that we've been seeing although we've downgraded their earnings um, expectations significantly um, these earnings are coming in better than I would have expected considering the um, uh, the fragile condition of the consumer if you saw the report the other day we have now hit a new record high in credit card debt as everyone is just spending on those credit cards running that debt higher and higher so kind of a complication that I think is still going to affect this market here eventually but we'll want to watch this closely can we pop out of here and break into a new high and then set a higher low absolutely um, we have we have seen in the past many many times where we can ignore um, all the economic signals out there um, in the market and pop through and, and act extraordinarily bullish and we've seen that over here where we pushed all the way back through broke resistance broke through um, strongly and then the reality came back to the market all of a sudden and that's one of the things I kind of fear that we may have stretched this a little bit too far so watch that closely and remembering we still are in a bullish condition enjoy the ride as long as it lasts because I don't know how long it will last but we'll want to watch that closely and keep a close eye on some of these support levels in the chart if we take a look at our QQQ QQQ exceedingly strong and there again I got a little crazy on my line drawing there um, um, as you can see we've pressed right up into that downtrend and the good news here on the QQQ is we broke through this level of resistance that the 
the queues have been incredibly strong here. Um, big tech, incredibly strong. So watch that carefully and closely as we approach that resistance level in the chart. Um, we want to maintain our bullish stance. We are certainly bullish, but we are pretty extended in the short term. Um, don't rule out that possibility that a pullback could occur at any time. So watch that closely. And then if we look at our Russell IWM, IWM also showing that bullishness. And this one has officially broken through that downtrend in the chart. So that's a good sign for the market. We're starting to see some of those small caps come back up. Watch that closely as we press, and looks like I got a little hasty on that one as well, as we press into that price resistance in the chart of the IWM. We'll want to keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at our VIX. Interestingly enough that the VIX did not make a new low yesterday. As we pressed up so strongly in the market, we couldn't make a new low in the VIX. Kind of an interesting circumstance. But what I will say is the bulls are still in control here without question. Broke down below support um, in that chart, continuing to hold the downtrend here in the VIX. Fear continues to drop out. And again, we're looking at another gap up open this morning as um, the earnings continue to fuel that bullish fire here. Um, watch this carefully down here. We're, remember, we're in a... <laughs> very high inflationary place and we're dropping um dropping hard in the vix we may be reaching a point of complacency where we've kind of gotten a little carried away remember it's very rare that we just zoom right straight back to the top there's going to be some humps and bumps along the way even if this becomes a bullish market so watch that closely and then let's take a look at our t2122 now t2122 continues to signal this overbought condition in the market and again while i um, certainly want to recognize the bullish trend here in the market i don't want to ignore the resistance above and i don't want to ignore the fact that we have kind of stretched this rally maybe a little too far. So watch carefully. I don't know if this is going to break and I don't know when this is going to break, but there has never ever been a time when T2122 didn't eventually pull back. So watch that closely for that potential. It could occur at any time, but we certainly have that exuberant market and with a big day of earnings, we could keep that bullish move going here today easily. So watch that carefully. Don't get nutty here and over trade or try to fight the direction of the market. It'll tell us when it's ready to come down. Then we'll take a look at our T2107. Now T2107 continues to push up. You can see we pushed up here on Friday, just or on Wednesday, just ever so slightly. We're continuing to test that downtrend here in the chart. And I wanna continue to point out, hopefully if you're a bull, we wanna see this break out and hold that higher high and get moving. But I do have to point out the fact that this is where we have failed many times before. So watch that closely and don't become complacent. Our T2108, extremely strong. We're breaking this downtrend or have broken this downtrend in that chart continuing to stretch. But one of the things I have to point out, um, unfortunately, again, we might be reaching a little bit, point, a little bit of a point of complacency as we press higher and higher and higher in the market. Now, again, I still think there's that chance that we can continue to do that for a while longer, but you wanna be watching that closely. What I'm trying to suggest is remember not to over trade or chase a market higher. You might wanna be thinking about some profits, um, capturing some of those gains just in case we start to see that pullback or be watching closely for it so you can capture those gains. Then let's take a look at our T2101. Here again, I'm not very trusting of T2101 and that is because we continue to see these volumes be lighter than you would expect them to be after such a big move in the market. Now QQQ did a good job because we pushed pretty hard on the big techs yesterday. They did a really strong move to the upside, but watch that carefully. I think we're still a little bit anemic 
on that volume. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. We have a couple things that we'll want to be paying attention to. And this has been a light week. Remember, we're going to turn this back over here pretty soon into some heavy economic reports coming our way. So that's another thing that you'll want to consider as we move into next week. But Today, we're going to have international trading goods, and that's been improving largely because we've seen quite a change in um, uh, the U.S. dollar. Um, currency, U.S. currency has gotten stronger. That's helped out that trade imbalance. So watch that closely. It has improved. Maybe it will continue to improve today. The one I'd be watching carefully here today, and the one I have probably a bigger concern on, is the jobless claims. As you've been seeing in the news reports, more and more companies are starting to show that slowdown, laying off, issues starting to happen. Walmart is warning of that today. They're laying off corporate folks um, um, and downsizing because of the problems. And there's another report out there today that banks um, could start to see some layoffs and some major um, pay cuts. So uh, take a look at those reports. But this one might be a little bit interesting today and it's been creeping up ever so slightly. So watch that close. And then we've got a natural gas report, which is a likely to do anything uh, for moving the market but you never know you want to watch that closely we've got a couple short-term bond auctions we've got another fed speaker and that fed balance sheet later on today and then keep in mind as you're planning forward this is the this is one of the big reports that can really move the market keep an eye on that employment situation number coming in on friday Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. And oh my goodness, is it a busy day today? We have over 350 companies listed on the calendar today. Um, some of those aren't confirmed reports, but there are a lot of reports out there. So you'll want to be keeping an eye on those. Um, so if you want to catch the full list, make sure you click the link below the title of the video. There's a lot of them out there today, and I don't have time to really cover um, them as I normally do uh, because there's just too many. So take a look at a, a few of these. BABA has already reported this morning. They beat on estimates pushing up, um, but I will caution you that we still have some major challenges with uh, Chinese issue stocks and they're running into some um, compliance problems, making sure that they um, have accounting pra practices equal to the US. So watch that carefully. We're running into some resistance in that. We're gonna hear from Amgen. Amgen today, keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from ConocoPhillips. We've been seeing some incredible profits with some of these um, oil companies, so keep an eye on that. We're gonna get uh, BDX. We're gonna hear from um, Eli Lilly today. We're gonna catch from Domino's Pizza today. We're gonna pick up Trip, SWKS, Yelp. So we have a busy day of earnings reports. You'll wanna keep a close eye on those. Now what's interesting is a lot of them rallied into the earnings report and we've seen a lot of a lot of stocks be punished right after that earnings report. So be careful with the over speculation in these charts. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful, to be helpful, if you could please do me that favor, click those thumbs up buttons leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and i just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that and also huge shout out to those folks that uh, continue to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link you guys are truly awesome thank you thank you thank you so much let's take a look at some charts that are looking pretty good um, maybe setting up now keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you might want to to be doing your own due diligence, making sure you're focused carefully on the risk of every trade and never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade idea. Let's take a look at Cisco. I placed a price alert on Cisco yesterday. I really like the way that chart is looking right in here. Place that price alert. 
pushing up through that resistance. Now we do have to recognize the fact that it's going to report here in a couple of weeks, but we have seen um, in this market a, a very willing buyer to buy heading into that earnings report. So looking at this gap above, there is that possibility that this could move right up into this gap heading in toward that earnings. And I do like the way that ch uh, chart has developed this beautiful upside trend. We're being challenged by this resistance, but keep an eye on that. I think there may be that opportunity that that could move up higher. Just a nice little pretty chart. Um, if we take a look at um, some of the um, some of the um, medical uh, type charts out there. Take a look at BMY. BMY, if you're looking for some short trades, you might want to start looking at some of these stocks. We are starting to show failure here in many of these and notice that that 50 day moving average is starting to roll over. We failed here a couple of times at that 50 day moving average, but at this point we haven't been able to break down below this support. Watch that closely. It's right there at the cusp where that could occur. Uh, keep an eye on that. And I think um, you might also want to take a look. Merck is running into that trouble as well, where we're failing, where um, we had a perfect blue ice failure pattern here at the 50 day moving average. Um, showing that downside move. So one of the reasons I'm pointing some of these bearish charts out is if we do start turning lower in the market or get a little rest and pullback, it may accelerate some of these to the downside. You can pick up some nice profits in those. So keep an eye on that Merck um, looking um, a little bit on that bearish side. So watch that close. Um, let's take a look at, whoops. Stocks like um, Mitch, MTCH, breaking down big, ugly, um, happening yesterday in its earnings report. Watch some of these um, as well. As they rally back to these big resistance levels, there may be some opportunities for some short trades here um, following these downtrends. And that's, again, I, I'm not trying to just be bearish. What I'm trying to do is say, we're a little bit extended in the market. We might wanna be watching for some profitability if we do start to come back down just a little bit in some of these charts and picking up a few of those charts that might be profitable. Now on the bullish side, let's take a look at TLT. TLT, um, I I'm, I've got a bias on here. I've been holding TLT. Um, that's looking pretty good to me in this upside trend. And what we're starting to see is we're seeing those bonds breaking down a little bit. You know, there's nothing like high prices to fix high prices. And so what we have seen is those mortgage rates really damaging the mortgage environment. And what we're seeing right now is some of those bond prices coming back in. And I think the banks are really starting to pick this up. So watch that carefully in here, um, that opportunity that that may be moving on higher. Um, we will want to keep a pretty close eye on the US dollar. The US dollar has been showing tremendous strength here. And remember, as the US dollar goes up, that will typically push commodities lower. That's really what we want to see if we want to improve our um, inflation situation. But we also want to watch that possibility if the dollar starts to pull back that we could continue to see those commodity prices rise. So watch that closely. Very strongly elevated here in the US dollar. And what we're starting to see is central banks, banks around the world are trying to catch up in raising rates. And that may weaken the US dollar as they do that. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at um, some of these automotive stocks. I've been talking about these here uh, for a while. Rivian continues to look really, really good here, uh, breaking these downtrends, pushing through to the upside. Nice upside trend looking very, very bullish here. Um, I might want to wait for a little bit of rest, um, a little too many days to the upside, a little bit rest to pull back 
may set up an opportunity. Keep an eye on that. You might want to look at General Motors. As you saw yesterday, I mentioned General Motors in the report, and that guy took off pretty good yesterday, popping up strongly on a news report uh, for them. So any rest or pullback in here now, I think, sets up an opportunity. We got to say the same about Ford, except Ford is a little bit over overbaked here in the short term. So I would expect a rest to come into this chart, a pullback that could be even a longer consolidation. Watch carefully for that because that could trigger that next upside opportunity in the charts. As you guys know, I mentioned some of these pay system stocks um, yesterday, and I think we'll want to keep an eye on them because we're going to get a report from SQ today. SQ is one of those pay systems out there. Um, if you notice those um, nice little uh, computer blocks that you can even small businesses can access uh, very easily for their pay system so keep an eye on that um, a rest or pullback in here would set up an opportunity be careful around that earnings report but when we look at a stock like Visa Visa is one of those stocks if our consumer really is in great shape if we are going to be that bullish market we need to start seeing that consumer <coughs> excuse me, show just a little bit more energy here. So watch that carefully. We're trying to move up in this in this chart. Watch carefully in here. We popped a little bit on Visa. See if we can start moving that up. There is the opposite side of this in a concern, and that is that credit card debt has reached new record highs um, in the United States. Um, we have never had credit card debt this high. So that could be um, a problem as well if we start to see that demand destruction start coming into the market. Um, we'll want to watch these closely, but keep keep an eye on that. And last but not least, as you guys know, I'm kind of interested in these shippers. We buy so much of our product online nowadays, and we're going to need these shippers to get, get things going. If energy prices pull back, if those costs start to reduce, we could really start to see um, these shippers improve quite a bit. If that consumer is going to remain strong and continue to buy, if this truly is the bull return, then we'll want to watch these for those next opportunities to the upside. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results from your trading. Thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Be safe. Be careful. Have an awesome day. We'll see you right back here, bright and early, Friday morning.